Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Journey to Millennium. I'm your visually impaired host, Jeffro Madness, and I have returned after practically an eternity. It's been like what, a month now since I've done any kind of Pokemon thing related? Well, there's a bit of a reason for that. I mean, I've been streaming and recording Pokemon stuff practically non-stop since like March or so. So I took a break for like June-ish. And well, if you're doing nothing but Pokemon videos, streams, and any combination for like three months in a row, I think you'd all get burned out as well. So I think my little hiatus was kind of, well, I wouldn't say it was rightfully deserved, but it was definitely up there. But if you're wondering as to what in the name of Lord Arceus I was up to during that time off. I was actually getting some stuff ready and if you've been on my Discord server you probably saw me messaging a couple of people who were interested. But I've been I've been backtracking to my Nintendo 3DS and going through my virtual console games of Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, and Crystal because there's a particular glitch in the Gold and Silver games known as the, the coin case glitch which can allow you to do all sorts of things. And in my case, I used that glitch to get shiny Pokemon, or rather turn Pokemon into shiny. I caught them legitimately in the game and then I just used, used the glitch to make them shiny, which some of you out there may be thinking that these are illegal or not rightfully obtained. Well, I can, I can assure you that some of these Pokemon, well not some, I mean, all of these Pokemon I caught were rightfully obtained and when you transfer them through the Poke Transporter app into Pokemon Bank and then from Bank into Home, they're all seen as legitimate because the glitch themselves may turn them shiny, but they're still technically obtained, caught in game properly. Like the, there are some Pokemon in the Virtual Console that cannot be transferred. Like the, if you were to catch Mew in Red, Blue, or Yellow, it would not transfer because in order to transfer Mew, one, it cannot be shiny, so don't even bother, and two, that Mew needs to have a specific trainer ID and trainer name was like GF for Game Freak and then the trainer ID number has to be like some specific number, I forgot what it was. So you could use a glitch to get the right Pokemon that you need, but that's just one aspect of what the, I've been doing and I'm still thinking about it really, but I suppose as a Patreon incentive, if anyone who wants to become a member of Patreon, I could then send out boxes of these Pokemon. I did both Kanto and Johto Pokemon. And some of these you probably notice how are at different levels than they're supposed to be at like hard for me to see BDSP screens are hard to look at. But some of these Pokemon I've obtained are at lower levels than they're supposed to be. Which makes them pretty rare. Like I might have like a level 15 Gyarados which is not supposed to normally happen because Magikarp evolves into Garrus level 20, so that's going to be rare, or maybe have like a level 5 Machamp, which again is not supposed to be possible because Machop evolves into Machoke at level 28 and then evolves to trade, so the fact that I have like a level 5 Machamp is still something that's very, very uncommon. So it's going to be a nice little incentive if you want to just add Pokemon to your collection. Unfortunately, if you want to do that whole Machamp Fisher thing, it won't work, especially in BDSP because if you were to transfer your Pokemon over, actually, let me. I can open that up. Like if you just scroll over to the move sets of Pokemon, BDSP when you transfer them in, it, it alters the move sets. So like if you were to transfer a Pokemon like Machamp from the Virtual Console, if you transfer Sword and Shield, it will maintain the original move set that you transferred it as. But if you transfer it to BDSP, the move set becomes altered. So fair warning to that. So if you transfer from BDSP back into Sword and Shield, then the move sets will revert back. I'm not sure how they do that in PLA. I still haven't even completed PLA, but bottom line is for Patreon supporters, I can transfer all nine boxes of Virtual Console Pokemon, Kanto and Johto, and maybe even a couple of Mythicals to help you out because, well, not even just these guys. I can, for Patreon supporters, I could also do a bunch of transferring, like maybe an entire Gen 1 through 7 decks I, I could do. Or heck, Patreon supporters, you can if you go into my Pokemon Home account, 
I can open up my my Generation Millennium Patreon account that I have here. And let's see, it should be this one here. Yep, this one. This should be the one. Anyways, how this work is that you need to have an open profile available on your Nintendo Switch. You would, you would add this account onto your Switch, and then this would allow you to access my uh, the, well, the Generation Millennium Patreon home account, in which you can make any request to me. I could transfer in a bunch of Pokemon into here, like a Pokemon from Sword and Shield, like if you need like version exclusives, or if you just need some Pokemon. Like it's also helpful because sometimes we live in different time zones, so me putting Pokemon into this account could definitely help you guys out. If I'm not like available to trade in person, I could just put Pokemon the Pokemon into the account, and you can just withdraw them at, at your leisure. All I ask is that you be in Discord server and you be respectful of each other because I may like type into like the Patreon uh, Discord channels that like, hey, I did I posited this and this for this person. Do, only this person should go in and withdraw their stuff. It's an honor system of sorts. So I, I would prefer to you guys uphold that if you decide to join. Links to my Patreon, Discord, and everything else will be in the description down below. And speaking of Patreon, I'm a little behind on this, but I'm also writing a little light novel of sorts. If you see my other videos, unfortunately the second chapter has been delayed mostly just due to the fact that I've been busy do doing this Pokemon stuff, getting this stuff ready. Because let me tell you, getting all this Pokemon, like using the coin case glitch, trading between my 3DSs, getting the Pokemon into the right profiles and accounts because Another thing that these Pokemon have on them is you feel like look into the summary pages. If I can even open their summary pages. I really don't like how they... It's all, it's, it's all bright and colorful, but it's definitely hard for me to look at it. But if you look at the, like the, the summary pages, it should say like the, where the Pokemon were transferred from. So the funny thing about if you catch Pokemon in, like say... Uh, you can get like a level 15 Slowbro and Pokemon Yellow. If you transfer it, it says it's caught from Kanto. But what if you did like a level 15 Haunter caught from Pokemon Crystal and you transfer it? It would say it was, it was transferred from Johto, even though you technically caught that in the Kanto region. Gold and Silver Crystal is always going to be considered Johto no matter what. So that's something to be mindful of. So I'd like trade my Pokemon around because you can't do any kind of transferring via a cloud service for the virtual console games, so you have to trade manually. So that's why it took, also took a bit of long time to set this thing, stuff up. About three to four days for each region, so it took me roughly a week to get all this ready. So I hope you guys can appreciate the work I put into this, and I've already DM'd a couple of people in my Discord server who wanted this. But it doesn't have to be a Patreon thing. I mean, if you just want to do like request only like Kanto or Johto or maybe one region's worth of Pokemon, then I could. Do that off of Patreon. But then if you want to do like a whole like national decks thing, then I definitely have to restrict that to a Patreon benefit only because <laughs> I don't want to have to constantly reclone like 780-ish Pokemon for like everyone. That would be just way too stressful and way too time consuming because Oh boy, you got <laughs> just the cloning process in Sword and Shield itself is already time consuming enough, like Roughly, I can do one Pokemon per minute if I'm lucky. Maybe one Pokemon per five minutes if the daycare lady, nursery lady, really doesn't doesn't want to cooperate. And eventually, if I can finally just get through Pokemon Legends Arceus, then maybe through all hopes and doubts, I could probably start getting shinies over there and trade them those out as well. But don't, but just keep in mind that me, the Generation Millennium community in this Discord, we're here to help you. If you Guys, out. You just have to reach out and ask us for help if you need help on your Pokedex. Like, if you just want to trade Pokemon, just to complete your decks, get the shiny charm and stuff like that, we're here to help. You just have to ask. And you also have to be here to request and get that stuff going because we can't help you if you don't ask. So, please keep that in mind. So, this is mostly just a Patreon promotion video, I guess you can call it, but I just really want to show what I've been up to as of late. And now that I'm done with this stuff, I guess you just have to, guys just have to buzz me on, 
on Discord if you have any questions and I'll get to writing that light novel and although I have to warn you that light novel due to its genre and some of the language I'll be using, I'm going to put it at rated T at the moment, although I'm trying to keep it like on a more, I guess, comedic level of sorts, more lighthearted if I can, but well, again, I'll just do what I can. <laughs> I can't do everything. So I guess before I sign off, let's go Shaman. One last check. I don't think that was shiny. But anyways, <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. So, until next time everyone, take care! And as soon as I find where the end recording button is... Uh, let's see... Ah, oh, there it is, okay. <laughs> it takes me a while to find this stuff on my, on my computer. Take care, y'all.